For this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use titles instead of text for bands. Big ass numbers. This is courtesy of one of Anne Jackson's Workout Wednesdays in 2018. Firstly, I'm going to create a month of order date and then we're going to look at sales. And then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to look at profits. But now I want to look at my last 12 months, so my year to date figure for sales and profit. So we're going to create a new sheet. We're going to add order date to the columns and we're going to add sales to text. We're also going to add um, sales to detail and then we're going to add a quick table calculation of percent difference compute using order date and then also add that to text. So as you can see it's changing as we go across the years. So I want to be able to save that calculation so percent of sales and then I want to be able to custom format it. So if we format this number, we can go to the percentage and we can change the um, minus value. So we can add that in there. But then we can also change the plus value so that we can add the up arrow in at the very beginning. And if we want just a little bit of spacing between them, we can just add a little space there and make sure that the same decimal places. So now when I close that and when I add that back in you can now see I've got a little upwards arrow or a downwards arrow depending on the percentage. So now I'm just going to add year of order date to detail so it's still going to give me those individual years but I only want to keep that last year. So if I click keep only it then removes my percentage because it's a table calculation so it needs to look backwards. So I'm going to create a current year filter. But this is going to be a table calc, so it comes after everything else. So if last equals zero, then one, else zero. So now when I add this to the filters, and it's going to say one because we've not told it to compute using order date, and now it's going to pop back up again, and we only want it to say one. So now it's just going to give us the last year of our data. So now I want to rename the sheet to be year to date sales. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add all this to the title instead of to the text. So we're going to go sum of sales by the percent of sales. But the bottom two don't need to be that big. So we can do this and then center it just so that it's in the center of our page. And then here what we can do is we change this to a polygon and everything disappears. So now I'm just going to duplicate this for profit. So we're going to call this year to date profit. And I'm just going to duplicate this field, edit and change all of these to say profit instead. So that we're still doing that um, the lookup so that you can get your previous year's reference. So now we're going to rename that to percent of profit and then overlay that on the top of there and compute using order date as well. So now uh, we want profit on here to, oh no, not on there, on top of the sales there and we just want to change these because now we've obviously replaced them they have changed a little bit so and now we change this one to the percent of profit change that back to size 10 and change those two to bold so now when we apply you can see that we've got the year-to-date profit and the year-to-date sales but what I want to be able to see is I want to be able to highlight the last 12 year 12 months in our data set so now what we can do is we can create um, last 12 months calculation where last is less than or equal to 11 because last always starts at zero so this will give you the 12 month range. So then what we can do here is we can get profit, put it on a new axis and use that on to colour and then what we want to do is we just want to hide the false. Then we're going to hide it on that bottom one because that's the last one that we put it on. We can then dual axis this and synchronize so that we get that last 12 months highlighted and we want to do the same again with sales so duplicate that 
uh, check the last one then go on to it and then hide the last value and we want to just change true to be orange okay so now we can dual axis this and we can synchronize so now we've got we can see that the last the last 12 months are there for us and again we can just hide those headers to make it look a little bit cleaner so now when we create a dashboard we just want a small executive style dashboard so 700 by 600 so we can just put these on top of each other like this so we can rename these to sales and profit so when I go into the dashboard we can see all of this now and then what we want to do is we want to be able to add our sales and we want to add our profit. Let's just make sure that these are fit to entire view and again with this one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add three, four spaces in just so that it's a little bit more central. So now we can just do some cleanup. And then we want we really want these in containers so again we can just have a little bit more accuracy in how how wide we want those figures so we add another horizontal container in and then another one let's just make sure it's inside the container so now we can make these whatever width we want and if we do that we'll then split them apart and then if we just add a text a title to say executive dashboard and then we can just we can make it as narrow or as as small as we like so that we can get all of that data in so I can see that I've made one mistake and I want to be able to bold this so we can just quickly change that within the sheet let's just make it a little bit more roomy and we can remove those headers and then you have your year to date based on your titles instead of using axes and trying to get them central. The perks of using this is it just take, feels like it takes up a lot less space when you um, use them correctly and the other thing is that you can't necessarily change the colour unless you have um, two separate calculations so a positive and a negative calculation and then you change the color of those.